morning everybody. Good morning. Yes. Seems like you have good breakfast now, yes. Okay, so by the way, uh, first I told, present you myself. My name is Vikram, nice to meet you and uh, actually all of you know where we are going today, right? Yeah. Where? National tour, we're going to Tea Garden. Huh? We're going to Tea Garden? And fresh water resort. Nature tour. Yeah, the yeah, nature today tour. We are going nature tour. We're here. We're on top of a uh, dormant volcano. And as you can see, uh, the water, that water is inside that volcano. So we're surround we're on the peak peak of the volcano and that's the bottom of it. It's hard to see because this volcano has been dormant for 700,000. Yeah, and it's right now, as you can see, it's filled with water. Yes, so the depth is harder to see, but if all this green luscious has been going out, then you'd see that it's big. Yeah. Because it hasn't been, it has been dormant for so long. Like, you know, nature has grown around it. Yeah, still looks nice though. This is how we check the, the weather. Look. This building right here can predict if this entire country is gonna drown or not. Oh, look, the bird came. That bird is so nice. All right, let's head back. This is the volcano of Mauritius. There are 28 volcanoes, um, and each took a part in making this island. This is the only one that's dormatted. Um, we're on the peak of it. We're going walking around the volcano. And yeah, uh, it's an amazing island. Let's go on to the next clip. Today we have came to this temple where this is the biggest statue of this god in the world. It was delivered by the billionaire of India to Mauritius. It's very nice. Oh, I want to put that knot. I like it. Mm. Mm, look at that. I want to say that you are Let me see. I like Nice. All right, next stop. This is the statue of Lord Shiva. Um, here, hold the camera. Now it's But yeah, beautiful statue. I think this is the, what, what do you say? Third, third tallest, tallest world. in the world. Yeah. First one is in what, Nepal? Nepal, second is in second India. Is in Delhi. Delhi. Delhi, Delhi. India. Third is in Mauritius. Okay. Okay. It's um, 108 feet. Let's take a selfie. Yeah, here, let me close it. All right, on, this is a what, great statue. On to the next section. <laughs> to you all around Mauritius in the month of February we celebrate big festival what we go to Mahashivratri we are here right now all around Mauritius especially in the north side Hindu people they have to get one month for fasting from the north 
Because they start to walk, they come here, take three days, carrying a bamboo stick on the shoulder, what you call coward. They coward, they carry on the shoulder, can lift 160 to 200 kg, come here walking, fetch the water here, and they go back home to the village, it all takes six days. So that whenever there's great tide of Shiva, they pour that water in the Shivling, in the nearest temple in the villages. Yes. I know. Yes. And if you look, in the world, there is, there is only 13 Jyoti Lingam all around the world. Yes. How much in India? Well, I think so. 11 in India. 12, which is in Nepal. But it is in Pashupatiya. The 13 is here in Mauritius. What we call Mauritius Ashwarnath Jyoti Lingam. Yes. Oh. Now, there is a step to go down <coughs> if ever you want to go inside the temple. <coughs> Everybody is allowed, but if ever you want to go inside, sleepers outside, washroom on the left hand side. Okay, we are going to stop here 20 25 minutes only puja. Okay, no hawan karenge, otherwise, we have to call for an doctor from India. Temple's beautiful. This has all the Hindu gods that we could name. Um, yeah, and the people could do the puja uh, with with the ritual that some, as you can see, some people are doing it here with their families. So the water itself is holy, as I mentioned. Uh, it's Ganga River, which is one of the holiest river in India. And the story goes, the priest here had a dream about finding a lake in Mauritius. And once he found this lake, this area became a holy place. And as you can see, there's temples on the other side of the lake as well. There's temples everywhere. And apparently there's a temple on top as well. So we'll be going there now. But. On to the next clip. So see there. <laughs> this is the tea garden. It's the most expensive tea in the world. What's this tea called? Uh, well, another day is the most expensive tea in the world. But the uh, workers start at like three or four in the morning. They end by nine, and the trucks take all the tea. Photo shoot. As you can see, there's teas everywhere. There's also beer cans. There's also beer cans. I wonder if workers drink in the morning for breakfast. What if there's a tea beer? Beer tea. That'd be nice. Like flavored? Probably. And now it's time to head. We're probably going to the pub where there's like about like 23 different kinds of colors in the rocks. Reminds me of the time in Peru. Um, what to the Rainbow Mountain. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Hey guys, this is, we're in a buggy today. Uh, I'm practicing right now in this uh, trap, and then we're gonna be going out soon. But yeah, it's gonna be fun. Let's get it. I've been we swimming the package, we booming. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. She picking and choosing in love with the moment. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. They cannot do what we doing. You see how we moving, we got it, we got it, got it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it. All of my bros, we got it, got it. They know for sure, we got it, got it. Been on a road, we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, got it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it. Been on a road, we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, got it. Here, you can't tell if the ocean is hitting the sky. We don't know where the horizon is. 
it's an oh it just looks like a blue color as you can tell from these videos Yeah, this waterfall is amazing. We made it. This is the waterfall I think the movie from Ekta Village. There's a scene shot. Another waterfall.